on it. Uh, you know, I got to start the Periscope. You actually are getting this at the same time. You should be so proud and excited because I am. So once I start the Periscope, then I'll tell you what we got going on on, on here today because it's quite important. I'm telling you. I got the man in the building here at Grind City Live. See the smile, right? You don't have one of these, you ain't doing something right with your life. So I got the crew in the building too. So uh, they're over here. Let me show you the crew. Grand City Live crew is here. So I'm going to need y'all to make some noise. Uh, that's what the heck I mean. That's what I'm talking about. They are here. Let me tell everybody what's going on. Justin Wade is in the building. If y'all don't know who he is, we're going to tell you who he is tonight. Go. So we are live on Periscope. We are live on Facebook, like four different pages. My beat just said no. I quit. So we're going to start that all over again. We are live on Periscope. We are live on Twitter, my good people. So if you're with me, let me hear. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's because the crowd is here. That's what I'm talking about. So. If you don't know, my man Justin Wade is in the building. He is a guitarist and singer. He has his buddy Bob with him. They're going to play. They're going to play for you all later. But first, we're going to talk to him about his story, his journey through the music industry, his journey through life. Um, because I think, you know, sometimes when, when we do music or when we are artists, um, we forget to talk about the life. And it's one and the same. So we have to get down to the business of remembering that we're just mortal people and speak life into what it is that we're doing. And uh, I think once we do that, we'll change some stuff going on, on, on out here. So without further ado, I present to you, y'all already know what it is, right? The Go Live TV album. We'll be right back. City, baby. Five, four, three, two, five, four, Can I get a 16? 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 Can I get a 16?
come around you at the same old place. The stars are shining and the temperature's right. You're looking good over there in the pale moonlight. Every guy's fantasy dream. Top model dressed up like a queen. Cause I wanna know. I wanna know your guitar was going to be the instrument for you? <laughs> Probably like three. Yeah? Really? I mean, you know, not literally, but I, got, I, was just looking through some I was just looking through some pictures, <laughs> and my dad at like three years old, he's got me in a chair with his Willie Nelson guitar. That's little awesome. Little guitar with a mic in front of me, you know? like. That's awesome. You know what? It's amazing that uh, to hear you say that age, because a, a lot of young people whose parents do music, either they try to make them do music or they try to keep them far away from it. Yeah. Because the music industry is weird, and we'll talk about that soon. Um, so, three years old, I like guitar. It sounds weird and strange, <laughs> and I like it, and I get the bling, bling. But when did you go, hey, I like guitar, and I can sing? See, that's the funny thing. is because, like, I played guitar for years before I ever even started singing. Wow. So, it, I was probably later 20s. Wow. You know what I mean? Before I really Start singing. started singing. Yeah. Wow. I was like, man, wait a minute, I can sing. And then I started learning, you know, because it's real. It's one thing to play guitar, but to sing, sing and play. And play. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like so walking and chewing gum. Yeah, it took me years to... It took me years to master that. Chewing gum? And walking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, took me a long time, Mom. Uh -huh. uh, so, but yeah, that is very difficult to do and, and make sure that it comes out precise. Yeah. Uh, when, did, when did you say you mastered that? Never. Never? Mm -hmm. I love that answer because we're still working. Never, yeah. We're still working for progress. So we tried to play Four Wheels, and we'll get to that later, but we did play Know Your Name. Um, now, you played lead guitar, you sang. Who else was involved in making that song? Um, I actually wrote the music and the lyrics and everything for that song. Um, but we just actually got done recording. We're working on a five-song EP right now. Oh, dope. Um, with my good friend David Granati. Shout out to him. Go see him. Mr. Granati! Uh, at Dave's World Studio. Um, we're down there recording that now, but my whole band came and played on it. Oh, okay, you know? cool. So, yeah, because you have the Justin Wade band. Now, your yeah. name is Justin something, something else. <laughs> How did you get Justin Wade? Where did you come up with that? Wade is my middle name. Oh, hi, Wade. <laughs> he got dimples, y'all. Y'all know I'm tripping, right? He has dimples. They're huge. They're beautiful. All right, thank you. Look, he's, he's blushing. I got him to blush. You got me blushing. Yes, that's what mm -hmm. KV does. You didn't know? <laughs> so we have the middle name, and you said, you know what, that's just shorter. We're just going to roll with that, or? Yeah, it was just, uh, it was it rolled off the tongue a little easier. You know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody said, who's that guy? Shout out to everybody watching on Facebook yeah, and up, Twitter everybody? and our networks right now. We appreciate y'all watching. You can call in if you have a question, 412-475-8313. This guy right here, for those who are asking, is Justin Wade. His name is right there. And he is, I think she knows, she put hearts. Uh -huh. She puts hearts. She put hearts, bro, am. Uh -huh. Oh, you know she, see, she see the dimple. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's keep it moving. You have been through an extraordinary journey yes. uh, with music. Um, tell us a little bit about, well, not a little bit. Let's go into detail uh, because I think, like I said at the beginning of the show, we have to talk, bring life into our music, our life into this music. Right. So let's talk about your journey. You start playing, you're, you're getting popular a little bit, or what happened that made you go a whole completely different path from it? Let me move this over uh, here so they can understand you clearly. Have it. I mean, for me, music was just a hobby for me mm. for years. Um, and, like, the moment that it changed for me, like, I got a whole story. Like, I got I got involved and addicted to some things, you know what I mean? And, like, I've seen the depths of the depths. Mm. And, uh, like, places that I thought that I was never going to be able to, like, come out of. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I thought I was going to be labeled an addict my entire life and that I was going to die doing that. Mm. Um, and uh, th it changed for me. Like, I started, I had put the guitar down for years. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So like you I, went away from music yeah. while you were in addiction. Not only music, everything. Everything. God, music, family, oh, friends. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everything. But, yeah, I put it down for a little while. And, uh, you know, it was like music that, like, basically saved my life. Mm. You know what I mean? If you want to get to the nitty gritty of it you know what I mean like music definitely definitely saved my life because music is like the one thing it's like a, I, can't, I can't even explain it's like a high that you can't get from nothing else music is you love know, getting up on stage and, oh, man. And, and, and playing music is like a high that no drug could ever Shit make ever. you feel you know what I mean you know what I, I thought industry, in, interesting is um, you know I watch a lot of unsung and things like that that deals with artists and they get high to get on stage, yeah. but you still can't re replace that high. Nope. Uh -uh. So, I, you know, I don't know if the get high part is for the energy or what it does to make them get on stage, but I've heard them say, even when I'm on stage, I forget I'm high <laughs> because I'm on something else. Right. You know what I'm saying? So how did you get back to music? How did you know that that would be your savior besides God? like I've been into rehab after rehab after rehab I've tried this I've tried that I've tried every way possible to get myself and my life right you know what I mean and like I remember being clean with a few days clean or something you know and like finally one day just going over and picking my guitar back up and I started playing while you were clean while I was clean mm -hmm. and it just took all the thoughts and everything that I was thinking of drugs or using or just wherever I was at, whatever I was struggling with at the time, it took me out of that. Mm. And I was like, 
Man. Like, this. look, I got to chill. I see. You know what I mean? That's real life. Deuce. Like, yes, yes. And I'm like, man, this is powerful. Indeed. And so, like, I started feeling like, I started telling myself, like, look, every time that I feel like losing or something, I'm, I'm just like, going to grab my guitar. Excellent. You know what I mean? And, like, one thing led to another, and it was just like, I was playing again, finally. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I can't explain it, how it really happened. That's, I mean... I know, bro. That's all I can say. I know. <laughs> I, you know, I've been through some dark places as well, not so much with addiction, but right. uh, struggling with depression. And, you know, I always tell everybody when I'm not having a mental health, a good mental health day, I come to my studio. Because even if I make something that doesn't make sense to anyone else, it makes sense to me. Right. And it gets that heavy, your energy off of me, and it allows me to refocus on what I do for, for artists. So music for me is personal. I don't make it for... Uh, other people so much as I do to keep myself uh, balanced. Right. Uh, you know, depression, addiction, these things are real. Right. Um, they affect the richest person to the poorest person. Um, and I think it's important that we address it and talk about it because if we keep pushing it under the rug and putting the jewels and the money and the star life of right. uh, the music industry in front of the human being, then that's why we continue to have these issues right. with artists. Um getting so caught up. In, I mean, I look at music geniuses like Lil Wayne and this guy can't stand up straight because he's sipping right. surf. And it's like, nobody's talking about what occurred with this young man what before. Really happened. Right, and that's, before that's he got what rich. I'm try- right, that's, that's, my, that's, that's what, my story that yes. I'm trying to s- So show what really to happened? It's because like the awareness fact of what addiction, like when I was in school, right, they had dare and all that it said right. was don't do drugs. Well, why? Okay. What makes you do drugs? Yeah, right. What happens when I, if, if that would happen or that? Because a lot of people, like, addiction doesn't discriminate. It, it doesn't. don't matter what your color is, what your race is, what if you're a man, woman, lawyer, Rich, kids, poor, like, none it of that. It don't matter. It you is serious. I mean? and, and we have an epidemic happening in right, our area right, right now. We are losing people left and right over this heroin right yep. now. And, uh, you know, I just want to send a sincere shout out and love to everybody struggling with addiction right. and or depression, man. Please get some help. There's Please know out, your man. worth. Uh, so music help you define your worth, maybe? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. You have kids? I have three. Three, three kids. Two. What's their names? Kira Logan and Jordan. Kira Logan and Jordan. Yeah. Do any of them play music? <sighs> Logan does a little bit. He's starting to want to get into drums. How, how old is he? He's 13. 13. He's 13. I got a drum set, Logan. <laughs> Come get it. Which one of them made you stand me up? Uh, that would be my son, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> we had a date, Jordan. <laughs> no, uh, I definitely understood that, and I thought it was great. Uh, uh, for the people who don't know, they, they they were expecting to see you in June, right. June or July, and his kid made it to like the finals. Yeah, champion. playoffs Did they win? and stuff. No, they ended up losing, but Jordan. Hey. No, but, you know, it was just a fantastic thing that they made it there, and you wanted to be there to see him. I mean, I couldn't discredit that at all. Hey, go see your kid. So congratulations to the team getting there. I thought that was a great accomplishment. Uh, so you made a song about this life thing. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Life on the Edge. Life on the Edge. And uh, is that pretty much a description of what you were doing? Were you living on the edge, maybe? Sure. sure. Yeah. Why can I talk? I now? mean, it's it's the way I felt in active addiction, the way I felt when I got clean, the struggles, like the things that I was going through mentally, just like everything. Introduce it, man. We're gonna get into it. This is uh Life on the Edge original. Just the way, y'all, let's go. I'm living life on the edge, and I'm never coming down. I'm running through the streets and I can't slow down Life on the edge and I'm never coming down I'm running through the streets and I can't slow down It's my life, it's full of struggle and pain And I remember when people didn't know my name Talking this shit, that shit, stay away from that kid He ain't nothing but trouble, boy, look at his rap sheet It's long and he's raising hell The next stop's gonna be either death or jail And I don't know what my next move's really gonna be Sitting here making mistakes, people are judging me as fuckery Like you never hurt no one, was always strong Holding it down, didn't hurt no one, but hold on 
say I'm misconstrued Say you a man in the streets Well I got different views Cause hold on If I remember correctly You were never just a saint You were once just like me But I moved on to the next one Kept my head strong Held on doing my thing Living my life on the edge And I'm never coming down Running through the streets And I can't slow All alone, the only thing on my mind was I want to get blown or go home, but I had no one to call. You see, I burnt all my bridges, I was waiting to fall. The cold sweat, all the chills and tears, I done lost all my hope. I've been gone for years, lost all my friends and lost all my peers. I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. The only thing that was left on my mind was how the fuck I get back here again this time. It's time for change, it's time to make some moves. Utilize what I've been taught in my tools Stop being scared and afraid to lose Put my faith in something that can show me through So one day I can make a change Make people proud and break out of these chains And move on to the next one Keep my head strong, held on, living my Life's on the edge And I'm never coming down See I'm running through the streets And I can't slow down She wanted to bring the hip hop aspect to the Music Smiles program, so she asked me. Y'all know I got to see. I mean, on cue. She calls on cue. Like, uh-huh. she calls on cue. Go live TV hour. It is you on the line. Hey, Miss Bugar. What's up, Annie? We're doing well. What's good? We are just calling to say hi to Justin. Hi, Annie. How you doing? I'm so proud. I'm so proud. But <laughs> well, we were just talking about yeah. you. If you want to tell everybody a little bit about Music Smiles, what is that program? What is it or when is it? What is it? What is it? It's live music in caring places, and Justin's part of it. We bring music into hospitals and health facilities, all different kinds of music, lobby, bedside, medical unit, and Justin has played several times for that. Yeah, it was uh, awesome. It's so much fun. I appreciate it. It's like something that fills my heart like nothing else, Annie. Thank well, you for letting I'm me glad, be a part I'm of glad it. We met. I'm glad we met. I just called in to say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. 
much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Annie. That is the lady. Man, she's the best. She's the bomb. I'm saying she's the dopest she is, man. man. Like I, you know, like I said, I met her when I was in school. It's officially started working with her when I was in school, and um, I tell you, you know, sometimes I go, I go to Children's Hospital and I go to Children's Institute, and I might be having the worst day, yeah. and then it gets better the minute I walk in the door. Like, oh, how yeah. can I feel? Yeah, right. What does being a part of the Music Smiles program do for you? Um. I mean, like, to me, that's, like, what music is all about, being able to give somebody that feeling, that hope, you know, go and give them an emotion, because to me, like, music is the one thing that can bring out any kind of emotion, Indeed. you know, make you happy, make you sad, like, Indeed. at any given time, and it's a beautiful thing to be able to go in there and play for them, like, yeah. it's a blessing. Yes, yes, it is. I, I you know, I, I, I've never been a part of anything like that before. And I probably never will again. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of that program. And she keeps yeah. working to keep putting us in more places. I'm the only one that does hip hop there. So, you know, I feel kind of special. Mm, okay. <laughs> you know that? I feel kind of special. <laughs> now they want to make noise. You see this crowd, All right? right? <laughs> you got to get a little cue button. Yeah, well, yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it is a great program, and then um, anybody yeah. who wants to be involved with Music Smiles program can go to the Sunny Memorial um, dot org, I believe is the website. Please log on, check it out, or you can go to the Sunny Memorial, uh, Sunny Pugar Memorial, excuse me, Sun, Sunny Pugar Memorial page on Facebook. Get all the information that you need um, to be a part of it. Um, and if you are, you might end up in this chair, too, because I am on the board of uh, the Sunny Pugar Memorial Music Smiles Program. And so I offer this service to the musicians that work with us uh, so that we can continue to showcase this beautiful talent. Now, Music Smiles, it came from the hole back to the light. How do you feel about yourself right now as a man? I'm in a better place now in my life than I think I've ever been. You know? Happy? finally can like stand on my own two feet again you know have you regained uh, you know with addiction we were talking off camera um you know people may be depressed and not be addicted but we i definitely feel and you agree that if you're addicted you're probably depressed what message do you have for people who are battling this right now um that's a big part of like why i do music like i was explaining to you um I, w I just want people to know that there's hope, like, that you don't have to be that one that has to have their family come to your funeral, you know what I mean, or your kids wondering where you're at, like, that there is hope, like, you can get out of it, you know what I mean, like, if someone like me, and where I was at, in the depths of the depths that I was in, could make it out, and be where I'm at today, like, anybody could do it. Now, how, how were you able, and, and this is more of a question, um, to people who are going through recovery right now and trying to rebuild trust with those relationships, with family, <laughs> with children. It takes how time. were you able to do? Yeah, how were you able to do that? It takes time, a lot of time and work. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm a firm believer in like I didn't get where I was at overnight when I was using. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It took me years to get to where I was at, mm -hmm. and and to ruin all those relationships mm -hmm. and and lose all those people. So just like it took me a long time for that, it's gonna take a long time. It took me a long time to build the relationships now that I have. But like today, like my father calls me every day. Awesome. He trusts me. You know what I oh, mean? Oh man. Some people are wondering, well, where's Justin at? Yeah, they can you see know? you're right there. Yeah, I'm right see, there. See, right, Justin, right there. <laughs> he's right there. See? Yeah, no, he's right there. <laughs> so you know, I, I know that has you floating. Yeah. You know, it does. Floating. It's a great thing. You know what I mean? It's still a daily struggle. It's like, no it's doubt. something that, that, that you deal with daily. It's never going to go away for me. So how long did you actually use? Ten years. How long have you been clean? Oh, 16 months. Congratulations, man. Right. Congratulations. That's a long time, man. That's a long time to look something in the space ago. Not today. Yeah. Not today. Because life is hard. Right. So to add something to it and have to fight that off, too, Congratulations, man. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Uh, so, we're going to try this Four Well song again. Yes. And when we come back off a of break, he's going to play. You okay. going to play for him, Jack? I'm going to play for you. We're going right. to play a couple. We're going to show our crowd once again and see if anybody over here 
And praises, judge a blessing from my different stages. But we got to stay strong through the changes. Babylon one lock, we in cages. Yeah, we got to give thanks. Yeah. For the air that we breathe. Give thanks. For the food we receive. Give thanks. For the land and the sea. Give thanks. For the fruits you see, and the I wanna trees. give thanks for my mother. Yeah. Thanks for my brothers. Yeah. Thanks for my sister, cause I love her. I wanna give thanks for my daughter, my life, she's my heartbeat. Thanks for my uncles, my aunties. Thanks for my cousins. Thanks for my nieces and nephews. Whichever God you praise, may He bless you. Give thanks. I can walk, I can talk, so I give thanks. Give thanks for my strong Irish nan. I give thanks that my dad's changed. Give thanks that I'm here today and I never strayed. Give thanks that I've never been in a cage. The Babylon won't change, but I give thanks. Give thanks for the smiles on the faces of people from many different races. Give thanks. Give thanks for the real ones that take a stand. Don't take, give thanks. I got to give thanks and praises. Judge a blessing from a different stages. But we got to stay strong through the changes. Babylon won't lock, we in cages. Yeah, we got to give thanks. Yeah. For the air that we breathe, give thanks for the food we receive, give thanks for the land and the sea, give thanks for the fruits and the trees. Yes. More than a little, yeah. more than a piece, this is more than just me, more than an MC, more than a tune, this is more than a beat. I'm feeling kind of Moorish, I'm a fiend, I'm cruising and I'm mooring, cast away if it gets boring, I ain't mourning over those who were snoring, I already put the call in. Yeah. Many were called but few were chosen, so stop the supposing, you already knows him. Or does he really know him? Cause he's not on the web, you can't even phone him. Sometimes you meet him at home, sometimes you meet him when you're zoned. More time, you meet him when you're grown. So let the truth be known, I only found him when I was all alone. But that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. Every man, I feel what them on road. I got to give thanks and praises. Judge a blessing from my different stages. But we got to stay strong through the changes. Babylon one lock, we in cages. Yeah, we got to give thanks. Yeah. For the air that we breathe. Give thanks. For the food we receive. Give thanks. 
for the land and the sea. Give time for the fruits on my the trees. My a roster. Yeah. You know what it is, Haile Selassie on the wall, the aroma of incense, okay. I'm cobra of intent, no cobra intent, yeah. ain't here to snake men, I wear that statement, I air a fake friend, yeah. I'm my brother's keeper, I won't answer the door when I hear knocking from the reaper, I'm screaming out more life, watch me throw away the reefer, uh -huh. like the life of a moor, warrior attitude, I teach her, ain't trying to be a preacher, from pick me my peak, reach steeple status, over boy trying to beast on a verse like preacher. Yeah. They wanna know my influence, my info, hence how we do it. My pen fluid is flu in the stage, I flew through it. Pen sick like flu in it. Cut class, but pen never true and stay true to it. To who our shit flew, woo. Clever bird if you caught that, but you got dirty hands too. I got to give thanks and praises. Judge a blessing through my different stages. But we got to stay strong through the changes. Babylon, one lot, we in cages. Yeah, we got to give thanks yeah. for the air that we breathe. Give thanks. For the food we receive, give thanks for the land and the sea, give thanks for the fruits on the trees. Since eight, since four wheels didn't work for y'all, we're gonna play it live for you. I got four wheels stuck in drive, and I'm about to hit that pave. Been going downtown, running around, said I'm picking up my babe.
it uh, anywhere on iTunes, cdbaby.com, or justinwaveband.com. You can find it on there too. This next song we're going to do is by one of my favorite artists out right now. His name is Sam Arthur. And the song is called Say You Won't Let Go. Can I get a 16? 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 Can I get a 16?
For purchase at iTunes, cdbaby.com. You can go there, search Justin Wade Band. You can find it there, or you can go to our website, www.justinwaveband.com. All right, so man, uh, you know, you just came over here and killed my stage. I trust, <laughs> you know, trust I can breathe some life back into it because it's like Justin owns me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, Bobby! Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> AK, baby. You're back at my stage. You hear this, right? This I'm is what I get. I'm just doing my thing, man. You, know, you told me to do my thing, You did right? your thing. You did it well. Uh, if people you. want to book you, they can also find that information on your website as yes, well. Yes, it's all, all the booking inquiries and everything. Are book him. Y'all see? Y'all seen it live. It don't get no better than that. Book him. Uh, you know, do you have anything that you want to say to your kids? Yeah, any I love you outs? guys, man. I love my kids. I want to say hi to Logan, Kira, Jordan, all of them. Um, shout out to... Bobby Thompson in the groove, man. My dude always coming through, playing with me. Um, shout out Dave Granati. Shout out TC Davis Band, the Hawk guys. I mean, there's we can do tons, this all man. day. We can do this all day, you know. Shout out to Annie. Love you. Yes. Thank you for letting me be a part of man. Yeah. Uh, thank, music thank smiles and thank you so much, K, for me. having me. I really appreciate it more oh, than you, man. more than dude, you even know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. honored. Thank I'm you. honored that you were here. Um, I'm honored that you got yourself in a position to be here. You understand what I'm saying, young I man? Do. I do. You got yourself out of that darkness. See what happens when you do good. The light shines on you now. It's shining. It's shining. There's it's tons shining. of lights in here. We're sweating like a mofo. Hey, Dwayne. <laughs> I want to shout out my band, too. Dwayne, uh, my lead guitarist, Dwayne, Justin on bass, and John Whaley on drums. Dope. So, yeah, you guys sound good. Like, I heard your music. It come see good, us. Y'all can come see us. You guys, yeah, what at, you got, yeah, you got something coming up, right? Yeah, this Friday I'll be at... Um, Thursdays down in Bridgewater, Work. PA, and then uh, Saturday it's Regatta Weekend down in Beaver County. If you're down that way, even if you're not down that way, come down that up, way. Come down that way. <laughs> the full band will be down there on Saturday from nine to twelve. Dope, so, man. Yeah. Hey, the man got stuff going on. Get at him. Uh, you got anything that you really want to say to uh, someone? Like I said, struggling with addiction or, or depression. Yeah, man. Reach out. You know what I mean? Don't don't sit there and not say nothing. A closed mouth don't get fed. Indeed. The I'm help hungry. the help is there. All you got to do is ask for it. You know what I mean? And then do the work. And then do the work. It's the there. Work. Help is available, man. Well, it has been my absolute pleasure to have you here, Grassy. It's been my man. pleasure to be up Yo, here. I appreciate your presence here. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Shout out to everybody watching on Facebook, Twitter, go live TV, Apple.com, and GrindCity.biz. Uh, for people who are interested to know, there are some branding changes happening, so I will let y'all in on the secret really, really soon, because I ain't got some stuff up to see. <laughs> Shout out to Grass City Live crew over there. They're all right. All right, all right, all right. Let me see if I can put them back on the camera. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Would you please move in that seat over there? Move over, Bobby. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you got a short. Monday night, tune in. We got the video interview of Lady Lo. Uh, so she's going to be on the show telling us about what she got going on. So it's 8 o'clock p.m. Monday night. It's going down with I, us. I just want to say thank you to everybody that follows and supports my music and everything yes. I'm doing. Because, like, without you guys, none of this would be possible for me to continue to 
chase indeed. my dreams. So thank you all. Man, salute y'all. We will see y'all Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to get booked on this show, there are two places you can go. Go LiveTVHour.com or GrabCity.biz. Go to book now. Very easy to go. do. Book see right what we now. got available. We do this show Mondays and Wednesday nights, and yes, you will pay. But it is worth <laughs> it. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it's worth it. it. Hey. I ain't fronting. It's worth it. I'll give you everything you I got in me to make sure we showcase you properly. So that is the goal for now. This is K Bay signing off with Justin Wade. Justin Wade! <laughs> God, give me our, we are out of here, my good people. Hey, keep your chin up, do well for yourself. That way you can do well for everyone else. Peace.